And the questions towards the karmic and the questions towards you, okay? It's what they think, feel, feel about the situation. Do they want to make it work? Near future actions and most uh, most likely outcome. I don't know. I wasn't going to say that. It's usually an ending message, um, but it looks like for this, we'll be getting a most likely outcome, okay? So let's see what's coming up i just want to make sure i really shuffle this well as we're using the same deck for both messages okay so what you're meant to get as a message is meant uh, for you and what they are meant to get is meant for them obviously but okay okay there we go let's see what's going on in mind if there is a little bit of noise i do hear um a vacuum in the hallway okay so i'm going to pull the six cards for you and this karmic situation Look from the bottom, please. Uh, let's get an overall for you. I don't know, I'm guided for this one, whatever it may be, and an overall for the karmic yeah i'm guided for this one okay so uh, bottom of the deck we do have the moon and below that we do have the ace of swords i do feel that this is saying that there is a lot of hidden thoughts uh hidden feelings even um that are maybe going to be coming out or coming to a realization this can be between you this person the karmic situation um someone may be coming to a realization that they're in a situation kind of uh, due to some sort of trickery okay so that's just a a message it's not going to be about this now let's see the overall energy um, Okay, let's do this. I wanted to wait for the um, vacuum to stop. Sorry, sorry about that. So I'm going to do the first row is the karmic situation, especially when I see this as the first card. I'm just very guided to, um, but you decide who, who's who and what's what. The first message, the first energy top row, this person is like just done with this situation i mean it's almost like they have no choice anymore it's like whatever toxicity has been um revolving around that situation has pretty much taken this person over it looks like they have a look to them of a dead fish you know what i mean it's just wow you may be dealing with an air sign you may be dealing with a water sign who just can't even say anymore they can't think about it anymore they can't make any more decisions in regards to this situation. Now, the other situation, we have the Two of Swords. Wow, um, I'm hearing like, I don't know if I'll ever be able to return. I don't know if I'll even survive this situation. So we have two people that care about each other, that have a strong connection. When I see the seashell, that's all about even like a fifth dimensional connection, a connection beyond anything else. And, you know, to, to be honest, it's slowly setting because this can't sustain itself much longer. Let's see what the first card is in this person's thought. So we have the emperor. Um, this person is looking at themselves in this top row situation and debating, contemplating what to do. Do I leave? How long can I even stay here for, right? Um, this person is watching themselves wither away in whatever this top row situation is. Let's see. And I feel like up here is the karmic, okay? Now down here, we have the four of wands as the first card in the thoughts. This person, like I, I pretty, I'm pretty sure I said this, this person is a thousand percent sure about the depths of this connection, but unsure if they're going to be able to come into union in this connection, because I feel like this person knows that if they don't leave this situation, and we're going to see what the most likely outcome is, um, they don't leave this situation, it could take them forever, like it could take them. 
feelings about this situation. We have the temperance. This person has been very patient with this karmic situation, with this top row energy. Um, they've allowed this karmic to overindulge in things that they want, maybe plastic surgery, maybe just whatever they want. They've allowed this person to get it and have it. And they continue to allow that at this point, right? Um, it keeps the peace. Now, feelings down here, the Ten of Wands. Um, this person is seriously feeling as though you, most likely, I'm going to say you, um, because this is for you, the, this is your road, that you are like ending this connection. You are, it's slowly ending and it's like there's nothing anyone can do about it. Um, that's what's in this person's feelings. Right now, this person isn't too emotional, to be honest. Feeling about the situation on the top row, the two of wands. Um, this person is not really confused about this situation. In fact, they're quite aware that they need to leave. It's just that they haven't left yet. Feelings about the bottom row situation, Knight of Pentacles. Um, knowing that this person has to make a choice. That's what I'm getting about the bottom row. This person knows they have to make a choice. They either... It's like they have to either end it before you get hurt anymore or move forward. Do they want to make it work on the top row? Five of swords, absolutely not. This person would feel better to let this go and to just have their property kept. They want to keep their own property. They'd like to defend that, but no, they don't want that to work. Do they want the bottom to work, the chariot? It's absolutely yes. That's an absolute yes. This is a very special connection. Um, this person would love to be able to come forward to you or to welcome you safely and have a new beginning. Most likely in your act future actions in this top row situation, the Seven of Wands, it could be court, um, defending their property, you know, it, it's, it's not good, okay? Most likely um, our, our actions here, this is about, you know, kind of, I mean, it's the star card. Reaching out, giving something, making an offer. Hoping for the best in this bottom row situation. Most likely outcome for the top row, the Empress. Well, this is a feminine energy that's strongly hanging on, even if it depletes them. Okay, and it looks like two people here are very depleted. Most likely outcome for the bottom row, the lovers. We can't make it up. Um, we need to clarify. Okay, lovers, please. I mean, that's really the most interesting one. Um, the Hermit. So one thing I'm going to say is this connection in the Empress place. This uh, connection is never going to um, be lost. I, I don't know. There's something here. Like, this is a very deep connection. But I do have to say that um, there is a prolonging energy on this top row with the karmic situation. Um, it looks like the Emperor and Empress, by the way. Can we just point that out? You know, this is some sort of a special connection they have, but this couple may not even be married, but they may. Um, there's definitely monetary issues involved here. Um, the empress in this situation on the top row is a lot more depleted than the emperor. Like, there's something to it. They're, though they're both in very similar energy, right? Like, the... The outcome is that empress energy, so maybe the mother of a child... Um, but not doing too well in the same energy as this this masculine in the Ten of Swords, like the striving fish, like just striving to survive, just trying to survive. There's some sort of a court battle between these two. The Empress is also, the female in this top row is also going from this, you know, maybe plastic surgery facials, a lot of work, nothing wrong. I'm just saying like, I'm just giving you the description that's coming up here. So going from this one, which is my like, you know, looking pretty good there to this depleted, worn out, because that's what happens to people when you go through a court proceeding. Um, I do feel the emperor is more prepared and I do feel in this case on the top row, the female here is just worn out, okay? Uh, let's come over here. So this person definitely knows you are their wish. Um, I don't know why I was clarifying over here, but I was clarifying over here around the beginning. And they definitely know you're their wish. This person definitely wants a reunion from you. But right now, this 
reunion with you, but right now this person is not ready. Like, I'm going to say straight up, this person is not ready just yet to walk away because this will come. Um, or this person could be in the middle of walking away too for some of you, but this comes, you know, there's a tower moment that's going to happen. There's going to be a fall down before this person fully leaves the hangman. So right now I do feel that there's a strong pause here. There's something here with this love. It may stay hidden for now. It may stay, um, but it's, it's like, it's never going to be lost because even here, um, the hermit has the star in the card and you know the star card is here and this tells me that this love this connection you could be uh, a gemini libra aquarius cancer uh, pisces scorpio you know not a lot of earth down here uh, you know there's not actually earth here because none of this is grounded right now i do believe it's all somewhat up in the air here we go the earth energy comes with this person fully knowing, and it's interesting I put the hangman there, coming to a realization that for the bottom row, for you, the viewer, they have to make a decision. That has to either be, the actual decision has to be to end this painful situation you're in because you've hung on for so long. And it doesn't show you worn out or anything, but it's like some of you have hung on for almost 10 years. They have to either end the wait for you, say, don't wait for me anymore, or end the wait and say, okay, let's move forward. Let's go for this wish. But some sort of a decision has to be made. And in this deck, the Knight of Pentacles for me uh, comes along with that, that, I don't even know what it's called right now. But the death card has it, the Scorpio energy. This is current energy, right? We're in Scorpio season right now. And look how I'm putting the card back. This person is making, um, it's coming to a realization, I'm going to say, okay, about that. So, whoa, this person's realization, look at what I'm getting here. Let's just, let's just go here, okay? Uh, this person is realizing that there's a toxic situation that has to end, that they've been hung in. At least they're coming to the realization. We have the death card here, and there's that same instrument. Um, and the devil, you know, and the ten of swords. They know that this absolutely has to end, this top row situation. I believe both people know this, but we're not looking into that. And this person also knows that that's how they get to their wish. Okay, that's how they get um, to the absolute wish. For some of them, they've been hiding for some time from uh, this empress energy, I'm going to say, okay? And that's why they've been unable to offer you love. And also, that's why they walked away from you. Um, just like some sort of karma or some sort of something that had to happen. And that's why there was a time when this person walked away. I'm just cutting the uh, decks but I will tell you like I see like this person never forgot their love for you in fact all it did was probably grow during that time so this is a little bit of a different message um I mean we can pull a card I'm glad it's like why not sure let's get one for the top row and one for the bottom okay so I'm pretty, uh, for me, it tells me the top row is the karmic situation. <laughs> Look at what card flipped out in my hand, twin flame. Um, the bottom row, and I'm also seeing friendship. We'll take those and, and talk about that. Um, and it tells me the bottom row is the connection for you and this person, the viewer. So let's just start a top row and see what they say. So it gives, th give thanks for the blessing soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Um, this is for both parties here, you know, at the top row. It's time to um, give thanks and say goodbye. Uh, for the bottom row, we have twin flames, your passion ignites. And I do believe that this is with the... 1111 energy, the chariot, the star, the lovers. I do believe this is a twin flame row. 
Um, interestingly enough, you also got the card that talks about friendship. So it says, nurture the bond of your friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So this person may really need you to be a friend first. Um, take that into consideration. And that's your quick message. I wanted to get out there for you. Sorry if there's any confusion, but you apply which end works for you. Bye for now.